Let's talk about the negative sign versus the minus sign. Uh, here's a couple of problems I want to uh, want to do with you. Um, but something important about this is that uh, the negative sign and the minus sign, oftentimes when when we're doing math just by hand, um, you know, we'll say, for example, uh, hey, I got a minus five, you know, minus four times three plus negative two. Uh, subtract eight. Now, I, I don't know if you noticed, but um, for the, there, there's a negative five here. I called it a minus five. You and I both know what that means. Technically, it's wrong to say that, but you know, it, it's okay. I called this a negative two. In both cases, they, uh, they're both negative. They both, uh, the, um, the sign in front of the number is the negative sign, okay? Not a subtraction, not a minus, because subtraction sign, minus sign, same thing. But it's a negative five. I call this, uh, if I remember correctly, I think I call that subtract four, and I call this minus eight or vice versa, okay? And that's fine. Uh, two different ways of saying the same thing. But with, But in the calculator, Negative and subtraction are not interchangeable, okay? If you use the wrong one, you'll either get the wrong answer, and that would be, that'd be the worst thing. Uh, the not as bad thing would be you get an error message, which is cool because then you know you got a problem and, and then you, you know to fix it. So let's go plug these guys into the calculator. But again, bear in mind, at least on this screen, the negative signs and the subtraction signs, well, they look identical. On the calculator, they don't look identical, which is nice. Unfortunately, they look nearly identical. So that first problem was negative. Here's the negative sign, five. Then it was minus four. So here's the minus sign. So the four basic operations are here. Negative is not a basic operation. It's not even an operation. Um, and then we go to the parentheses right above the number eight and do three plus parentheses. And then inside of that other parentheses, there's, is it negative two or minus two? Well, it's negative two. It wouldn't make sense to put subtract two there. Okay. If I put a, if I put a minus sign there, then I'm saying parentheses minus two. Well, that doesn't even make any sense. So. That's why it had to be that way. This one has to be a negative as well because there's nothing before this symbol. There's nothing over here to say like seven minus five. So it would not make sense to put a negative there. Okay. So that's, uh, that, that's kind of the idea there. And we get that. The second one was six. And I can do the time sign or I can just say uh, in this case, just parentheses negative seven. Again, this has to be a negative. It cannot be subtraction because the symbol coming directly before it is not a number. And then minus three fourths. Or I can arrow up and grab that to modify it and say, you know what? I feel like being very sophisticated today. I'm going to delete, not clear, because that'll get rid of the whole line of information. And then I can go alpha y equals one and build a fraction. And I do that in various videos. And then I got that. And then you can, you know, using vi uh, uh, the other video on slideshow about um, uh, converting this to a mixed number or, or a decimal or whatever, you, you can do that. But the point on this video is that the negative sign and the subtraction sign are not the same thing. And they, and they look a little different, not much. The negative sign is one pixel higher than the subtraction. And the subtraction sign is a little longer. So um, if you get an error message or things aren't working out quite right, that's one thing to check uh, is, OK, make sure all my negatives really are negatives and all my subtractions really are subtractions. But that's how it's done. And uh, so long, folks.